friends, family, subscribers to the YouTube channel, Adventuring with the SGOCC. So the other day, um, Tim was able to get hired um, in a job that I applied for as well. And he's doing quite well. Wish him nothing but the world the best. Um, so it became necessary that for me to continue videos on a regular basis, I needed a tripod. And I found one. Uh, it actually, I found it for a dollar. Um, it's working out quite well. I have adapted my vent mount for my cell phone to it. Uh, it seems to be working quite well. It's going to remain pretty solid, it looks like. So, uh, we're gonna be, I'm going to be continuing videos. And then as Tim is able, he will be joining us as well. Wanted to show you this interesting stone. This is brought to me by my neighbor next door. He just found it walking around. It's got purple in it. You can see it's got a big chunk of crystal quartz here. Um, it's very interesting. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm going to probably put it under some bright light, open it up a little bit, see what, what's in there. Um, but it's, it's very interesting. I like it. There's a lot of very interesting stones out there. Uh, oddly enough, it turns out that Cochise County is ranked number five on the planet for found surface stones, gems, minerals, and crystals in the world. And it's true. You can walk out in the desert, and Tim and I have established a couple of three places where you can just walk around, da-da-da, and find stuff. Um, the crystal that we put on the mage staff that is now down at the gathering place in the Sierra Vista Mall um, was found at one of our spots, just walking around. Uh, Tim and I spent, we timed it, 57 minutes, exactly. He went one way, I went the other. Um, I had his daughter Cassie with me, and between the three of us, we picked up enough material to cover a tarp in a three-foot circle. And there's a video that shows some of the crystals we found. You know, great big, beautiful, faceted crystal quartz right on the top of the ground. It's beautiful. Um, and we still know exactly where we found our rainbow aquamarine. And we will be going back. <laughs> um, we've got a tremendous amount of stuff going on. Uh, videos, hosting shoots, either out at uh, Dry Canyon, French Joe Canyon, or at the Sierra Vista Gun Range. Uh, we have upcoming uh, what we call dirt fishing or metal detecting. Um, we went up to both of the gold claims and dug one catch basin uh, at the bend in the wash. So we have to go uncover it and get all that material. Uh, I built and designed a new uh, wash system for our wash plant. Um, we just need to put that in order. What we were looking for is a higher volume pump for our captured system. Is the one we have is just not pushing enough water. It's the pump that came out of Tim's Doughboy pool, uh, and we just need something that pushes a bit more water. Um, then we, I can put a, uh, a regulator on it, and we can adjust up or down to get the right amount. Because with a, with a wash system, the angle of the sluice is particularly important, but so is the volume of water that pushes across all that material. Too much, and you'll wash everything through it. Not enough, and you'll clog it. So you really have to experiment and get to the right, the right amount. Um, we have now identified 17 abandoned mines in Cochise County that we are going to explore. Five of which are straight down holes. Two of those are gold mines. One is surrounded by an incredible amount of iron ore and iron pyrite. So we're pretty sure that's a gold mine. Uh, we dropped a, a rope with a weight on it, and it was a 250-foot climbing rope, and we had to add more rope to it. We estimate its length at, or depth, at 265 feet. However, 
one of the very important things we learned from our subscriber Shannon Webster that joined us on one of our first abandoned mine explorations is we still need to secure what they call a sniffer. Um, it's a device that you you put in the mine or you take in the mine or lower it on a rope, what have you, that tells you what gases are prevalent in the mine. We're not going to go down into a mine um, that may have gases that are going to cause us to pass out and die. Um, it would take, you know, three mules and, and two people to drag me out. And that's just not going to happen. We're trying to be as safe as possible in all the things that we do. Um, I think we're going to put together a metal detecting trip here locally uh, very soon. Uh, there are great big swaths of open country never built on land right here in the middle of town. And in fact, there's one, it's probably 300 feet from my front door. Um, it's, there's a bunch of homeless scattered in it, a bunch of mesquite. It's, it's the type of terrain and country that was here back when the Buffalo Soldiers were riding cavalry scouting trips. Uh, we'd like to get together a bunch of people and go out and metal detect that because the, we do better in numbers. If it's just me and Tim metal detecting, we're only going to cover a given amount of ground. If we have a dozen people that join us, we can make a line and cover a huge amount of ground. Out there in the desert, there are still Spanish doubloons. There are gold and silver coins. There are stashes of gold and silver ore that have been stuffed into banks along rivers. Um, there's just a tremendous amount of mineral wealth in Arizona. And, you know, just like the movie The Goonies, we want to find us some rich stuff. So bear with us. I know things have been slow. We're trying to pick up the pace, do more videos, get out there more, but with the insane gas prices and, and what have you, we've just, we just been in a pickle. So we thank you for your support. We thank every one of our subscribers for subscribing and being a part of the channel. We're hoping to grow it. So tell all your friends, share it on Facebook, Twitter, True Social, whatever social media is out there. Let's try to build up our, our social media footprint and get more subscribers to the channel so that we can do more stuff. We're just a couple of brothers enjoying living in the Old West and exploring everything around us. That's why we're now trying to tag every video with this has been a Fun Brothers production, and we thank you for your support. More to follow.